Today, I'm getting under the hood of me, Elizabeth Elfenbein, a mother, daughter, sister, friend, women's advocate, advocate for the aging, a change maker, creative leader, an internationally awarded storyteller, founder of Sister Good, and founder and CEO of Under the Sisterhood. My story is one that is born out of creativity and activism. Um, I was in advertising for over 30 years, and it was a, an interesting journey at a time, of course, that was completely male dominated. And my last job, I was a, a partner and chief creative officer at a women and minority owned company, which really gave me the opportunity to see and experience things differently and really to bring my mentorship and leadership with women um, to a different level, be really present with it and really be able to affect change. And so when I left five years ago, I had this idea of under the sisterhood, but I wasn't ready to like fully give birth to it. So it was simmering. It was a long pregnancy and it came to life last year. Uh, when I decided that I wanted to create this safe space for women to be seen, heard, and celebrated, and really to create this global community, age agnostic community, um, where women's well being was strengthened through sisterhood. I, I know that there are a lot of, of course, there are a lot of empowerment companies and platforms for women uh, where they go into organizations and they help elevate you in the context of the organization and help you grow professionally. Um, but one of the things that really ma has always mattered to me was that not only that I grow professionally, that I grow on the inside, that I have done the self-discovery work, I do the self-care work, and you know, learning how to find my voice and help women find their voice and, of course, build sisterhood. And I think that that at the core of who we are as an organization is this company with such a big heart that wants to be of service to women to help them find and share their superpowers. So uh, creativity at the core, I get to meet with women from around the world every day. Uh, I've interviewed for our podcast, I've interviewed 75 women representing 36 countries, ages 18 to 85 so far. Um, and of all backgrounds, LGBTQ, trans, uh, really recognize, recognizing that all women matter in every capacity. Uh, and and really try to to show the world uh, by giving to show the world the strength in all these different women how inspiring they are um, and really that each of us matter and so we we launched with a sister circle um, a launch party for the under the sister the company and the the podcast last August and during that party we created this sister circle and over 40 women spoke up during the sister circle. We, we couldn't end the meeting. It was that well received. And so the more we did that, the more we started putting these sister circles out there. And then we came up with proprietary um, programming, wellness programming to help take women on a journey. And this methodology has been of course um, vetted and endorsed by psychologists. But I think the important thing is it really takes women on the journey and we, we hope that we take women on a journey at a younger age, that they're not waiting to go on the journey like me. So you're in, you're in your 50s and you're, you're saying, what's it all about, Alfie? So we've created this wellness programming. We're talking to organizations and universities right now. But really the hope is to help women show up as their best selves, to find their superpowers, to share their superpowers. And in doing so, you know, when a woman feels good inside and feels empowered and confident and their esteem is, is, is good, they're going to be more likely to help lift the next woman and the next woman. And really, that is our mission, is to build this global sisterhood where women are lifting each other every day and showing up as their best selves.